guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm vlogging today. Honestly, whenever I want to go to Barnes and Noble and I want to buy a bunch of books, I'm like, maybe I should just vlog that day. You know, maybe they would want to come along with me. And I feel like you guys like to see me bookshop and buy some books. I like taking you guys with me and talking to you guys about what I buy and my experience. Also, I have just a little bit of other things to do, some life updates. I think it'll be a really fun day to take you guys along with me. I don't know what I want to wear. I've been trying on so many different outfits and I'm getting frustrated. But I am leaning towards this. It's really comfortable. This is all from Princess Polly. I just got new stuff from them that I'm going to show you. And then we need to pick out an outfit between what I have and what I'm going with. Thank you, Princess Polly, for sponsoring this video. I truly do love Princess Polly. Polly. They are my one of my favorite clothing brands ever. They just have like the cutest, comfiest, and just like most perfect clothing ever. And I'm leaning towards this. I'm gonna show you what else I have. You guys can use my code SARAC for some money off. That'll be all in the description. I'll have their link in my code and everything down there. It ships from within the United States, so free standard shipping, which is like three to six days to the U.S. on orders over $50. They also offer afterpay and shop pay to all U.S. customers, which is amazing. This is my first option. It's like a really cute long sleeve graphic, and I'm like loving it because the black and the black trousers. I have these black trousers in brown and I wore them to the Harry Styles concert a little recently and I wore them to City a few weeks ago and they're my favorite trousers ever. I also got a hoodie that I'm going to show you and a few other pieces that I just like, I don't know. Bear with me. Okay, I also got this plain black bodysuit long sleeve. I'm obsessed with it because the material is like, you know that like shiny, stretchy material? It feels like really good on, like not uncomfortable. And I have black long sleeves, but they're all cropped. So I needed a bodysuit and this is just like absolutely perfect. But is this too like fancy to go about my day? Or is this cute? I love the all black moment. But I also have the white long sleeve in black. Maybe an all black moment, but with like a graphic. Should we try that too? Okay, this is the black one. It's really cute, really comfy. I kind of dig the whole dig. I never say that, but I kind of like the all black vibe. These pants are literally the most comfortable pants ever. The only thing is my favorite jeans are from Princess Polly, so I got them in a different wash. I kind of wanted to wear them today. Let me try on the jeans. You guys tell me which one you like. It's going to be too late when you tell me which one you like, but tell me for future reference, for future outfits. So let me put on the jeans. They're just... They're so cute. So they have like the little V crisscross and I had them in a lighter wash and they are really comfortable. They fit like a glove and this wash is just to die for. And they're just comfortable. So it's like, I go either way. What do I do here? I also got, wait for this, this gray hoodie. And it says Princess Polly in pink. Look at this color gray. It's not the most perfect color I've ever seen with the baby pink on it. Like I'm kind of leaning towards maybe doing comfy. Everything is just so cute. I don't know what to wear. I kind of love this. Is this hoodie not perfect? I put it on with the trousers. Comfy, but cute. I'm going to be honest. I think I'm leaning towards the white long sleeve with this, the original outfit. Wait, but this is kind of cute. <laughs> what should I do here? Okay, well, <laughs> those are all the clothes I got from Princess Polly. Again, my code is Sarah C. I'll be in the description with the links to everything, all my sizes and the pieces. Highly recommend. This is literally like the cutest clothes I've gotten recently. I'm obsessed. Obsessed. I think I might go with the white long sleeve and then put this on if I get cold. Best of both. Okay, I think this is like really cute. I need to go to Starbucks. I need to get something. Actually, they have Starbucks at the barns we're going to. So I'm really excited. I guess I'll wait till I get there. But my current read, if you guys are wondering... Yep, Keeping 13. I don't know if the reading vlog with Binding 13 in it comes out before this video or after this video, but I have to edit that today. That's another thing I have to do. I literally just started last night. I have it on my Kindle, so I'm not taking my book with me because this is a hefty girl and I don't want to carry her around. I'm not going to give too much of how I feel. Already, the second one is off to a good start compared to the first one for me, and I think it's honestly only because I already know the characters. I don't have to get to know them again. I'm giving a whole black and white moment, and this bag, I posted it the other day on- <gasps> I have Barnes & Noble gift cards from Christmas. This is the best day of my life. Anyway, I posted this on my story the other day and a lot of people were asking where it's from and it's so cute. It's a little Sherpa. It's actually bigger than I thought. It's like pretty big, but it's so cute. It's from Anthropology. It was on sale when I bought it. I don't know if it still is and highly recommend. So I think I'm going to bring this with me. So if you think I'm going into Barnes with no plan, like usual, just to browse, see what jumps out at me, you're mistaken. I actually have a plan this time, which is very interesting. I usually never have a plan and if I do, I never find what I need. So fingers crossed. I want to finish out series that I've started. So I need to get Kingdom of the Feared from the Kingdom of the Curse series. I think it's only in a hardcover and I don't want to wait for the paperback. I just really want to finish the series. So I'm gonna have to get that hardcover. And I saw that there's like a limited edition, really pretty one. I don't know if it's a limited edition. I think I made that up. It's like a, it's a cool cover. I don't know if it's like collected. I don't know. I want to see if they have it. I want to get another Lucy score book because I am so obsessed with my recent read by her by a thread. 
Guys, it's so good. So I need to get another one because I'm obsessed. I want to get another Frida McFadden book. I don't know which one or if they're going to have it, but I've heard that all of her books are really good and I've only read The Housemaid, so I need to find more. I'm trying to think of what else. I didn't write anything else because I did this really quickly. But we're just going to have to go and see. I don't think there's any other series that I haven't... Oh! A Court of... A Court of... What is it? A Court of... I don't know, the last one. Those are my updates, that's my plan for today. That's our plan, because you're coming with me. Let's pack my bag. I need to put my keys in here. That would be nice. I also got this jacket for Christmas. I think I talked about it in a more recent video, but I just found out that it's reversible. Can you imagine how cool that is? I mean, it's not that cool. I think it's pretty cool. I saw an ad for it on Instagram while I was wearing it, and the little caption or the little description said reversible. I looked down and I was like, no way. And it is. It's Sherpa on the outside. Perfect. I literally wear this every day. Not today though. <laughs> so that's a lot. And the inside is like quilted so that you get the Sherpa on the inside. Oh, it's so cute. It's from PacSun. I think they have other colors. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll give like a mini Christmas haul when I get home. That could be fun. Let me add that to my list. I don't know why I'm so hyper today. This is my to-do list. I've been writing it on a piece of paper instead of my notes because I'll write them in my notes and never go back to my notes. Isn't that interesting? A lot of people were asking if I was doing a Christmas haul. I don't know. I love watching them. Just, I've always had this like weird feeling showing what I got for Christmas. I don't know. So I'm not going to make like a dedicated video to it, but if you're interested and you're watching, when I get home, I'll show you what I got. Because I got some really cute stuff. Let me cross off my list and then we'll get going. Lauren to Barnes and Noble, which was super fun. She just started a channel if you guys want to check her out. I think it's Lauren Sydney. I've been drinking matcha for literally so long now. I haven't had a coffee since before I had the flu in December, like early December. I haven't had a coffee since then. I've been on a matcha grind, but they have a pistachio cream cold brew and the pistachio latte, like pistachio flavored drinks now, and I love pistachio. So we tried the pistachio cream cold brew, and I'm gonna be honest, it wasn't worth breaking my coffee strike for. Like it's good, but it doesn't really taste like pistachio because I love pistachio and it's not giving what I wish it did. Went into Barnes on a mission for what I said this morning of the books that I wanted to end up finding and getting. Lucy Score book, this is the last one they had, Forever and Ever. It says you don't fall for your brother's high school sweetheart, your boss's daughter, or your ex-wife's best friend, especially when they're all the same women. It takes place on Mackinac Island in the dead of winter, which is perfect for the setting we're in right now. I'm just so obsessed with her writing. So let's see if we can get another five Five star read from her. Remember when I said I was getting Kingdom of the Feared and they had, I said it was a collector's edition, I don't know what it was, but now I do because I got it. So the original looks like this and this is the exclusive edition. It was 50% off and it's beautiful. The only thing is it's a hardcover. They didn't have any paperbacks. I don't know if they make paperbacks in the third in the trilogy. So I don't know, but I'm excited to finally finish the series. This one I feel like might be my favorite out of all of them just by seeing how the second one ended. This is the Kingdom of the Wicked trilogy, the last one in the series. And I'm just obsessed with this cover. It's everything. Then, like I said, I wanted to get the last Akatar book. This is A Court of Silver Flames. I need to finish the series. I really want to know how it ends and I really need to, I don't know, see what goes on in here and how everyone acts. They didn't have any Frida McFadden books, which I was really upset about because I really want another one by her, but I'm going to have to either go online or go to another Barnes. I don't know. No Barnes that I'm going to like has her. They only have the housemaid. This one didn't even have the housemaid. I wanted to get, wasn't there one more? Or maybe there wasn't. Okay, so I really just didn't get Frida McFadden. And I was looking for other books, looking around. Nothing sparked my interest too much, so. I think now I'm just going to read a little bit and just hang out and then I will give you guys my mini Christmas haul. I think that's really all I have. I really just want to read a bit because I'm trying to get through Keeping 13 and I want to finish that as quick as possible, <laughs> even though it's so long. And I have to edit, like a lot. So maybe I'll edit and read and then I'll come back. Also, this outfit was really giving today. I love the trousers. It's so comfortable. If you want comfortable pants that aren't jeans, but jeans really aren't that comfortable. But even if you want comfortable jeans, like they have just comfortable pants. These trousers are like really comfortable. Love them. They feel like I'm wearing sweatpants. I'll be back. I 
I wear this headband every day and I just know I look so silly in it, but I can't stop wearing it. I hate when my hair is in my face. So I'm gonna struggle, but this headband is like my lifeline for my hair, but it looks silly with it on. Okay, I ended up editing my video, but I didn't end up reading. So I'm gonna read now after I show you guys like a bunch of stuff that I have gotten because a lot of people were asking for a Christmas haul. This is not from Christmas, but I really need to show you guys. I posted this on my Instagram story. It's my dream book journal, first of all. I leave it on my desk every day and it's just so pretty. It's a book journal and I'm not one to like get creative with book journals or if I don't have like a template or anything, if I just have a journal, I'm not using it. Like I literally won't go to it. I'll just write in my notes app. That's usually how I track everything, but I'm obsessed with this. It gives you everything. My rating system, my reading goals, anticipated releases. I wrote down all the ones for this year that I know of. My TBR list. I have not put any in there yet, but it's like a huge list that you could write everything in. And then they have my library. I have not updated it, but it's just a cute little bookshelf library. And then there's a book tracker. How many books you're reading and you're getting through. A reading log, so you can write down the book. If you keep going, you have the little templates about each book that you read, so you can put that in the little journal. And it's just so perfect because I just am not creative with book journals. I don't think I would ever gravitate towards mine if it wasn't like template like this. So I'll link it down below if you guys are interested. I think she sells on Etsy. It just has an Instagram. I'll put that both down below. Here we go with my mini Christmas haul. I got this chair. It's the white chair that I literally am in love with. And it's from Wayfair. I don't know exactly what it's called. This little French bulldog book holder thing. Like both sides. You see the Frenchie face? And it holds up my books. I love it so much. These books were in there. So I have to put it back so that it'll fit. But I've been putting books that I want to read in there. Really put it to use. And it's really cute. And I'm obsessed with it. I got a bunch of gift cards. Barnes & Noble. Starbucks. Sephora. I got that jacket that I'm obsessed with. I got these covers for my headphones. And they're cherries. They're from the brand Burga. Is what it looks like and what it says. B-U-R-G-A. They're really cute. And they like stay on really well. I'm obsessed with them. And then Chris got me this really pretty watch that I need to get tightened because my wrist is too small for it. But it's like I've been like wanting a thin watch. Like just a thin gold watch. So I got this one. And he got me new sneakers, a few books, um, a few makeup things. My mom got me stuff for my baths. You know, some soaps and stuff because I love taking a bath. I got a new hair oil, the Olaplex one, because mine is literally running out. I have nothing left. So, needed that. I also got a hairy sweatshirt that is still not here. My mom got it from Etsy. We're waiting on that. And then she got me this little mini hairy calendar. That's really cute. That's all I can think of right now. I need to read. I have not read today and I need to get through this book. No offense to the book, but I also need to put away my books that I read this past week. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is I've been putting books on my book cart for my TBR, like what I'm gonna read more recently. But I think in this little French bulldog case, I'm gonna put books that I read like the, that month. So like in January, all the books that I read, I'm gonna put in there. So when I fill my monthly wrap up, I'll have them right there. I think that's efficient and smart of me. My day now is kind of boring. It's gotten later in the day. And it didn't took a lot longer than I thought it would. Nothing crazy. And then Chris is coming over. We're probably gonna get some food. Literally, that's all I have today. That's my day. Maybe I should clean my room. That's always good. I'm gonna clean. <laughs> show Chris the books that I bought. You can see how he reacts to when I talk about books. He tries to be a supportive boyfriend, but I know he does not care. This is first. It's the last one in the series. But the last one is black. I think it has a black hardcover. Maybe. Guess how many pages? 684. No, 757. This one, the last in a series, mm -hmm. exclusive edition. Wow, and it's on sale. 50% off. And the original was like dark down here, and this was like pink. That's cool. Cute, right? Mm -hmm. So I just read this book. Were you here when I was reading it? 
Mm -hmm. Lucy's score. I loved it so much that I got another book by her. Forever and ever. Yeah, but they're really good. Lucy's score, I'm going to have to remember that. Okay. And I'm going to say, who's the author I really like? Lucy's score. Mm -hmm. so you want to give them an OOTD? Look at these pants. Look at the color of them. Lululemon socks, Nike sweatpants, salmon, not pink. Yeah, they're more of a salmon. Ritzia hoodie. And whose is that? Mine. No, he steals it from me. That is my hoodie. Yes. We're going to get, we're going to get food and that's the end of my day. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you did. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you hopefully in the next one. Just put your, your hand on the camera. Bye. Like outro, like put it to the yeah, now it's done. Okay. It makes it over. Bye. And now put that in the bloopers. <laughs> Are you gonna do it? <laughs> sure. Okay, okay goodbye.